there. I am inside the Israel Museum. Actually, this is the modern art or abstract art section. Now, I'm not usually a fan of abstract or modern art, but some of this stuff really is appealing. Uh, check this out over there. Behind me, you've got like a big rock floating in the sky with some skeletons. Descriptions about uh, both of them are available. Um, it's really interesting. And there's some weird stuff too, like this toilet latrine up there. And this one that really drew me in. Look at this, this is Venus, you know, Venus as uh, available in the Louvre, but in bondage, yeah. So there is a special festival going on tonight at the Israel Museum. It's open until about 3 in the morning because uh, they're having a ton of awesome art exhibits here. It's really fascinating. That's why it's so crowded here even though it's well past midnight. In fact, I've run into one of the walking exhibits right here. There is a man with a keyboard and making a ton of music. If you sign up ahead of time, you get a pair of earphones and based on whatever you're looking at, your vibes, he will make music for you that fits the mood so that you have this whole different experience with the art. Now here is a room with a ton of Impressionism art. I really love these sculptures. Look at this. It's a woman trying to wash her back, I believe. Yeah. And this is a really adorable couple that I saw earlier. Look at that. Aww. And they're just barely touching, but not quite. It's so cute. You've got even more abstract art. What are these furniture bits, I guess? Oh, this is so cool. You've got a ladder that is completely suspended, crooked, by these two large weighted balls over here. And that's all. There are no other wires holding it up. Check that out. Rocks. I found some very cool rocks. <laughs> archaeology wing. This is where all of these sculptures are. You've got some really fascinating pieces. Um, sculptures of old, I believe these are from Mexico and various other places all around the world. They collect a lot of pieces of art, pottery, jewelry, and everything that you might want. This looks Asian actually. It says cylindrical vessel portraying underground gods. Cool. And here's a mask. So shiny. A lot of really fascinating pieces over here. Um, there's a sarcophagus from an old mummy. Egypt's right just, uh, just across the border after all. So much cool stuff. But this isn't what people are here for tonight. Tonight, people are here in the Israel Museum because of that fantastic festival. All of these art exhibits that you can check out. It's really interesting. Oh, this is nice. This looks like it's from BC. I feel like I'm home. <laughs> Headphones on. I don't know if you can see. Um, there, you see that? They're all wearing headphones, and there's music playing for all of them. But nobody else can hear anything else that's going on because, well, it's headphones. And the brilliant thing about it is, you can be clubbing and dancing, but when you want to talk to someone, you just take the headphones off, and it's not too loud, is it? Such a great idea. This is one of those modern art pieces that make people kind of scratch their head and say, oh, this is art? This is pretty cool though, actually. It's by a guy called Joshua Neustein. And um, he's taking a bunch of black and white colors and plastics and other raw materials. And oh look, he made a giant map of Israel using tape. Look, there's uh, the West Bank and Jerusalem, and over here you've got Gaza Strip, and all the way down to the Negev Desert, which is, there's a lot at the point. That's some artistic. 
Well, this is just magnificent. They've got the old recreated dining room with an old English dining set. Look at that mantle. And a porcelain set on the left as well. Oh my gosh. Check it out. This is probably just as lavish as some of the rooms in the Louvre or in the Palais de Versailles. I just love chandeliers. They don't have any giant paintings on the ceiling though. That's probably the only thing that sets it apart from not being quite as lavish as something in uh, Versailles. This is beautiful. I'm really impressed that they have this here in the Israel Museum. You'd think it'd be mostly Israeli history and artifacts, but no, they've got stuff from all over the world. <sighs> I am amazed. It took me a while, but I finally found it. This is the Jack, Joseph, and Morton Mandelin for Jewish Art and Life. So essentially, jewelry, clothing, and other artifacts. Some historic J Jewish culture. These are really nice. I love the headdresses. Also the jewelry. Man. Imagine if I could wear something like that. Oh, that'd be really nice. I think it'd be really heavy though to have to wear all this jewelry. Probably just for ceremonies. And you can look at this magnificent silver ornamental stuff, necklaces mostly, and I think a few belts and bangles. Wow. So this is what they wore. This is a, uh, a Jewish bride from Yemen. Well, at least this is what she would have worn. So apparently this is what it looks like inside an Indian Jewish synagogue. Check out these awesome ceilings. What great patterns. And the lanterns are little orbs of glass. And there's a balcony up here as well. Just look at how intricate these paintings are all the way up the staircase. And I think this is the original door, too, that they brought here. This is a Torah scroll. They've unrolled it part way. But it keeps going. And on. Here's the end of it. I can't read any Hebrew, obviously, but that's all the Hebrew text. Holy Torah. Which, uh, in the Old Testament, is the first five books. So cool. And keep us <laughs> Jewish Orthodox men tend to wear kippas and you've got lots of very elegantly designed kippas. I was wondering when I'd find all the Jewish exhibits. I guess this is it, eh? Oh wow, look at this menorah. The big bird in the middle. There's so much stuff in this museum. This place is huge. If you ever come to Israel, you better make a visit to the Israel Museum. I'll be watching you.